Branta Canadensis, the Canada Goose, my enemy and passion for the last 13 years of my life. Hi, my name is John Lewis, and waterfowl hunting pretty much runs my life. Not only is chasing waterfowl a passion of mine, but I've been fortunate enough to turn it into a career, chasing my targets around the country every fall and documenting our adventures. For the past three years, I have been hosting and producing the web show called Cabela's Northern Flight. It was two seasons ago that I switched up my approach to hunting geese. I went from a full body only type of hunter to a how many decoys can I fit in the back of my old pickup and hit the road type of guy. That is when I found white rock decoys and they've completely changed the way I hunt the Canada goose. We just got finished up our hunt today and I wanted to go over real quick how simple deploying and cleaning up these white rock decoys are. We set these things up in a, just a few minutes and clean up's even faster. We can just grab them all, got the stakes in here. We got a farmer plowing this field right now and we're trying to get out of his way pretty quick. So these wind socks are great. A lot of people say you can't kill Canada's over them, but we we're able to get a few of them today. We're gonna get all these decoys cleaned up in probably under 10 minutes, throw them in the bag, get them in the trucks and go find some more geese for tomorrow. Last season wasn't one to brag about. It wasn't cold. It was warm. It was hot. And we didn't have many birds to chase after around my then hometown in Iowa. We had a few good hunts and many really bad hunts. At the start of this season, we were ready for revenge. With big plans to hit the road, this year was gonna be different. We're running out of time here on our first night. We got out here little later than we were hoping and our plan right now is to just hopefully see some of these birds get up and head back to roost if we didn't see them go down into any fields so we're gonna keep going until we can't see anymore and tomorrow's a new day and hopefully we'll find some tomorrow morning after scouting the next morning Luke and I stumbled onto what we thought was going to be a great shoot we located a solid number of birds bouncing back and forth from sheet water to a cut wheat field. With no posted signs to be seen, we double checked with the CEO and started to plan our morning hunt with high hopes. Well, we've got day one pretty much wrapped up here in North Dakota and we ended up doing pretty well. We found one really good feed. It's got probably close to 300 birds, which is a which is an awesome field to hunt these early seasons. But unfortunately, we spent a spent uh, the day scouting that out, coming up with a plan, and it wasn't posted. We talked to a CEO about it, got everything cleared up to go hunt this place. Eventually the landowner and his son, or the landowner's son came in with a couple of his buddies and they had been planning on hunting it. So we moved on and that's what you always gotta do. You gotta always have a backup plan. So that's where we're at right now. This was our backup field. Uh, right now we got probably about 60, 75 birds in there. So we'll watch these birds, see where they go and We'll be back in this wheat field in the morning. It's the morning of August 20th. As you can see, we were fighting some serious mosquitoes out here in North Dakota. But we got set up, we probably got about four dozen white rocks set up. And what we did was we used these socks, we got a pretty decent wind, and then we used the 3D head silhouettes to fill in to give us a little different profile. This was option B, and that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully, these birds will get up and move in here in a few minutes. We can not get eaten by mosquitoes. Come <laughs> on. 
Our dreams of early season geese quickly turned into a humbling experience on our North Dakota trip. That's the thing with waterfowl hunting. If it was always easy, we wouldn't do it. Starting out the season in August, hanging out with good friends, that's why I hunt. It should be why we all hunt. That's what it's all about. Sure, you remember the days where the stars align and everything works perfect, but I know one thing is true. This trip is one that will stick with me forever. Until we meet again, North Dakota, I'm glad it's only August.